game. So just how special is it to be able to start the season at home? Well, you know, we always played neutral site games in the past because of scheduling issues and it was a great experience for fans for, you know, a long time. And we always were able to get a really good opponent to play. But, you know, we kind of changed philosophies in trying to get home and home games uh, so that we could play really good opponents, you know, home and away. Um, we think that Utah State is a good opponent, and uh, it's great to always play at home. I know the players look forward to it. I think one of the things you got to realize about playing at home, it's not about playing at home. It's not the crowd. It's not anybody else is going to help you play good. It's still about what you do, how you need to play, how you need to go out there and execute. So I know the players are always excited about playing in Bryant-Denny Stadium. We're always excited about it, and hopefully this game helps us you know, see where we are so that we can make the improvements we need to make throughout the season to be the best team we can be. There were some guys preseason you mentioned that were injured, uh, Hastings, Pritchard, Little, Aaron Anderson. Where do they stand today entering the first week? Um, no different. I'm, I'm not going to give an injury report in here every week, okay? When those guys are ready to play, we'll let you know. So they all had significant injuries. Uh, they're some of them are practicing in black shirt jerseys, um, and there's no real timetable for knowing when they're going to return. Right here with Nick. Utah State uh, forced a few turnovers in the first game. What does this offense, or you guys offensively, need to do to make sure to not have any rust and come out and protect the football? Well, I think one of the big things about first games and playing a team like this, this team created a lot of negative plays. Um, they do a really good job of stunning and, and pressuring. Uh, that's been kind of their forte. They were one of the leading teams in the country last year in tackles for loss and creating negative plays. So you've got to be patient. Um, and I think when you get a hat on the hat, you've got a really good chance to make plays against them. But that's always the challenge. And they've got good players. They play hard. They're physical. They're tough. Uh, so I think our guys are you know, anxious and ready to go. And, you know, see how we go out and execute against, you know, what we think is a pretty good defensive team. Go to Tony. Let me know if you got any more questions, guys. What's this, what specific traits does Kyrie Jackson bring to the cornerback unit? And then how rare is his size, speed kind of combo? Well, I think we have two guys that have sort of rare length. Um, you know, him and Eli both have really rare length to be as athletic as they are. Uh, but you got to use the length to your advantage. You got to use the length to, you know, help you jam people. You got to use the length to, you know, help you bat and swat balls. And uh, I think Kyrie, both guys are, you know, certainly learning how to do that and trying to do that to their advantage. So, and, but I think, you know, that kind of size is a little unique to the position, but I think there's a lot of bigger receivers now. So having guys like that is really kind of a good thing in the long run. Bryce has talked about his comfort level being higher in year two as a starter. In what ways can you see that manifest? Uh, well, you know, we got a lot of new receivers. And I think the coaches have done a really good job of, you know, putting these guys in positions and repping and repping and repping what we're going to do so that, you know, Bryce feels comfortable, but they feel comfortable and people are on the same page relative to the routes that we run, the reads that we make, and where the ball is going to go. So. Uh, I think any time a player has a year under his belt, he's going to feel more comfortable. Uh, I think he's really comfortable in, you know, setting the protections, understanding what the defense is going to do, recognizing what they're going to do. Uh, I think he gained a lot of experience doing that last year. He handled it really well last year. So, um, but I think he's even more comfortable with it this year. All right, coach. All right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate you.